The slayings put the area on edge for weeks. The latest killing occurred Monday, when authorities said Brad De Franceschi was gunned down while the Boy Scouts employee trimmed weeds in front of his house. De Franceschi lives on Boy Scouts camp property in Clinton, a town of 1,600 people about 30 miles from the state capital. Authorities announced the arrest of Ryan Sharp, 36, late Wednesday. He is charged with three counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted first-degree murder. It wasn't immediately clear whether he had an attorney. De Franceschi was the fourth middle-aged or older white man to be shot at their homes or on their property since July. East Baton Rouge Sheriff Sid Gautro would not comment on a possible motive or say whether Sharp, also a white man, knew the victims. Asked by a reporter, if Sharp was a serial killer, Gautreau said, no, but I mean it could be categorized as anything, really. We've been open-minded in this whole investigation. Our citizens can rest easy tonight knowing that we are confident we have the right person, the sheriff added. East Feliciana Parish Sheriff Jeff Travis said Sharp confessed when investigators questioned him after his arrest, but the sheriff didn't elaborate. Detectives found significant physical evidence linking Sharp to the shootings, Travis said. The Louisiana State Police Crime Lab matched bullets found at two of the shooting scenes, according to a sheriff's office report. Tommy Bass, 62, was killed in his carport on July 8 at his East Feliciana Parish home. Buck Hornsby, 47, was wounded while exercising on his property on September 12 in Clinton. Carol Breton, 66, was shot to death on September 19 while doing yard work in front of his home in Pride. One of Sharp's neighbors said he stopped by last week, four days before the latest slaying, to borrow her husband's welding helmet. She said she never felt uncomfortable around him. He always had friends around, Tracy Andes, 46, said. They would have BBQs, crawfish boils. Just your normal people. After the most recent shooting, Andes told her husband she would bring her gun outside the next time he cut their grass and stand watch over the street that runs past their home. Everybody was scared. Even me. I didn't want to check my mailbox, she said. Everybody has been on high alert. The sheriff's office report doesn't explain how investigators identified Sharp as a suspect. Earlier this week, De Franceschi's wife told authorities that she saw a white four-door car with tinted windows near her home after she heard the gunshots that killed her husband. Sharp drove a car fitting that description. Sharp lived off a dirt road in a heavily wooded area. At the gate entrance to his home, there is a no trespassing sign warning that violators will be shot and survivors will be shot again. Investigators were watching Sharp's home on Wednesday afternoon when he drove away in a white four-door Nissan Altima. They tried to pull him over, but he led them on a high-speed car chase that eventually ended with his arrest, authorities said. A lever-action rifle was found in his car. Casey Rayborn Hicks, a spokeswoman for the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office, said she doesn't know if Sharp has an attorney. Sharp owns a plumbing company according to records filed with the Louisiana Secretary of State's office. His father is a retired police officer who worked for the State Public Safety Department, which provides security at the State Capitol building and elsewhere, according to State Police Major Doug Kane. He told the advocate on Thursday that he was shocked by his son's arrest. We were close, I didn't see him every day, but we talked occasionally, and I kept up with him, he said. I'm in shock of what he allegedly did, but I'm also sorry for the families that were impacted by this. A task force of law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, was formed to investigate the killings.